Did you or somebody you know have a new baby in 2021? Or do you have a new dependent from 2021? If that is the case, you have $1,400 on the table right now, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to claim it in this video. So with that being said, let's get into it right away. But if you haven't done so yet, or if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video so you can join the fastest growing advocacy group right here on YouTube and the number one channel that is dedicated to bringing you all the latest updates every single day, as well as watching you through all of these details that you need to know to get all of the money, benefits, stimulus, stimulus checks, and anything else that is out there for you to claim as of right now. So again, thank you so much for joining me. I truly do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button right down below the video if you haven't done so yet, and let's get into this right now. All right, so make sure to continue watching as the shout out winners will be revealed a little bit later in this video as well, and congratulations in advance. All right, so if you're somebody who had a new baby in 2021, first off, congratulations. I hope your year is going well so far, and I hope that you are enjoying the new baby. I'm actually right there in that category as well. My wife and I had our first baby in 2021 as well, and honestly, it has been way more fun than I ever gave it credit for. I absolutely love spending time with our little one. She's amazing. I just love spending time with her. So anyway, uh, let's talk through all the details of how you can claim $1,400 dollars here in 2022 on the behalf of your new baby or if you are somebody who has a new dependent in 2021 again you are on the table here with fourteen hundred dollars that you can claim and i want to show you exactly how to get it so Let's talk through all the details. Number one, just like everything, there's always going to be some restrictions and some parameters wrapped around who can actually claim the money. So here, let me lay this out for you right now. If you are somebody who has an income under $75,000 as an individual, or you're a married couple with an income under $150,000, and you have social security numbers, then you're pretty much good to go, okay? So let me walk you through the process of how this actually works. Now, this even applies for those of you who have zero zero income, or if you are also receiving any kind of benefit like Social Security, SSDI, SSI, VA, uh, retirement, survivor's benefits, any of these kinds of benefits, even no income, you can still claim the $1,400. Now, here's the thing. I know that the vast majority of the people in my community right here on this channel are those people receiving a lot of benefits, including Social Security Retirement, SSDI, SSI, VA. Maybe this doesn't apply to you, but maybe it applies to somebody that you know. Maybe your, maybe your, uh, maybe your kids, maybe your son or your daughter. Maybe this applies to your grandkids. Maybe you have a niece or a nephew that this applies to. Please feel free to share this video with them because here's the thing. If, if you don't learn this information from somebody or you don't hear it from somebody like me, the IRS is not going to knock on your door. They're not going to call you up and they're not going to send you a letter saying, um, excuse me, we have $1,400 here waiting for you. Would you like to claim it? Sorry, that's not going to happen. So I want to make sure that I'm helping as many people as possible grab this money that is available to you right now as a result of your new child from 2021 or a new dependent from 2021. So let's talk through this a little bit further now. Here's the thing. The only way that you can get this money is if you file a 2021 tax return here in 2022. So I'm recording this video in early 2022 and you need to file a 2021 tax return in order to claim it. Now, and again, I know I'm probably going to see this down in the comments section. Some people are reaching out saying, hey, my income is low enough. I typically don't file a tax return. How am I supposed to get the money now if I don't file? Well, you'll still need to file, okay? One other quick disclaimer. I'm not your accountant. This is not accounting advice. This is not tax advice. This is not financial advice in any way, shape, or form, but rather I can give you general statements, but I'd highly recommend maybe talking to somebody that understands your situation, maybe an accountant, a CPA, or maybe, you know, do more research on it. And uh, with the information that I give you here, look into it a little bit more, but I cannot give you financial or tax or accounting advice. I'm just letting you know that right now. Um, but I can give you general information of how to get this money. So here's the thing. Even if you are somebody who typically typically does not file a tax return because your income is low enough or maybe because you receive benefits like SSI or SSDI or Social Security, something like this, then you would still need to file a tax return according to the IRS in order to claim this money. And here's why, and here's how you have to do it. 
So when you go to file a tax return, even if you have zero income or very low income, you can go to your 1040. That is the tax return or the, uh, sorry, the tax form, the 1040 tax form. On that form right there, there's going to be a line that is stated the recovery rebate credit. Last year for 2020 tax returns, it was on line 30. Now it could be changing this year, um, but again, it's gonna be on the 1040 and it's a line that is called the recovery rebate credit. That is the $1,400 stimulus check from 2021. Remember back in March or early April of 2021, everybody or most people received a $1,400 stimulus check? Well, if you received, well, let me say this again. If you had, <laughs> not received, if you had a new baby in 2021, then you have that new dependent, but yet the IRS is not aware of that new dependent that you have, your new baby, right? So what you would need to do is file the tax return and make sure that you claim the recovery rebate credit. And again, show the IRS that you have a new dependent, a new baby that you are claiming as a dependent. Therefore, you can get that $1,400 stimulus check. However, like I said, it is not filed or it is not called a stimulus check on your tax return, but rather it's called the recovery rebate credit. In other words, what this is, it's a refundable tax credit that's showing up on your 1040. You claim it there and it's worth $1,400. However, there's a little caveat that we need to understand here because this could reduce your $1,400 down to zero potentially. So we want to understand this a little bit more. If you are somebody who owes taxes, let me give you a quick example. Let's just say in the year of 2021, you worked or you had benefits or whatever, your income came in and all of a sudden you have a tax liability when you go to file your tax return for 2021 and you have a tax liability of $5,000. I hope that's not your case. That would be an ouch situation, right? But let me just explain this for example purposes. Let's just say that you have a tax liability of $5,000. In other words, you owe the IRS $5,000. Ouch. I hope that is not your case. But here's what would happen. You would have the $5,000 tax liability. However, because you claimed the recovery rebate credit worth $1,400, it would reduce your tax liability from $5,000 down to $3,600. 5,000 minus $1,400 would bring your new tax liability down to $3,600. Does that make sense? So now that is one situation. If you do have a tax liability, then they would be taking that, um, they would be taking the recovery rebate credit or the $1,400 off of your tax liability, therefore reducing your tax liability. So you'd still be getting the 1,400, but rather than getting to back in the form of cash in your pocket or direct deposit into your bank account, they would just be reducing it from the liability that you owe the IRS, right? So it's still there. It's just not as pretty as a deposit into your bank account. So that's how that would uh, play out. However, let's just play the situation out. Let's just say that you have a zero tax liability. You do not owe the IRS any money. Congratulations. That's amazing, right? It's always nice when you don't need to cut a check to the IRS. However, if that is your situation and you owe them zero money, then you would be getting back a credit or tax refund in the amount of $1,400 possibly more, possibly less, depending on your exact situation. There's a few different factors that could reduce that benefit, um, including income. If you're over the thresholds, they're gonna reduce it a little bit, or maybe other things that you have out there that could potentially reduce it. But just in general terms, you'd be getting back $1,400 in the form of a paper check that may be mailed to you or a direct deposit into a bank account that you uh, put your banking information onto your tax return. So there's a lot of different options here, and I'd be willing to bet that the vast majority of people would probably get back the vast majority of that $1,400. You'll probably get back the, probably most of it. There's not that many people out there that have a tax liability. And if you do have a tax liability, you probably know who you are and you probably are earning, you know, a pretty good amount of money. You probably have a pretty nice salary or maybe, you know, you've sold a piece of real estate or maybe you sold something that uh, is incurring a tax liability. You know, maybe you sold some stocks, you know, something like that. Um, so there's probably going to be reasons why you would maybe have a tax liability. But in general, you're probably not going to, right? I'm just saying that in general terms. So, 
That's how that works. So if you're somebody who had a new baby or you have a new dependent from 2021, make sure to claim your $1,400 stimulus check on your tax return from 2021 that you're going to file here in early 2022. And again, remember, it's on the 1040 and it's called the recovery rebate credit. That's what it is right there. And it's worth $1,400 per child. So if you had two kids in 2021, maybe you had uh, twins or maybe you had triplets. Whoa. Now we're talking some serious money. If you had two kids, twins or, you know, two kids, if you had a, a new baby and then you had a, a new dependent in 2021, it would actually be worth $1,400 multiplied by two, $2,800. So it's $1,400 per child or per dependent. So interesting stuff, right? Well, the money's available and that's how you can claim it. Even if you're somebody who does not typically file a tax return, just remember, you'll still need to file in order to get that money. So that's what it is. And I hope this helps you out. Again, please feel free to share this video with your friends, family, and social media, because you never know who's out there right now that may not know that this exists, who may have a low income that does not typically file a tax return. And therefore they could be missing out on $1,400 that I want to help to make sure you grab that money because the IRS is not going to come a knocking. They're not going to come calling and they're not going to show up at your door or send you a letter saying, we owe you money. Sorry, it's not going to happen, okay? I want to make sure that we're helping you get all this money because it's available right now, and I want to make sure that you're getting it. So hopefully this short video is worth $1,400 to you um, as a result of this short video. So with that being said, subscribe down below, share this video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other 2,000 videos right here on the channel. And with that being said, Corey, take it away. We'd like to give a shout out to Jimmy Himes, Ann Gavin. Carrie Bush, Katrina Code, Sabrina Selmer, P Barb 136, Laura Rowe, and Aurelia Oval. Thank you guys for being in the fan club. We really appreciate your support.